Julie, it's going to be hard to uh, even imagine what next year's school year will be without you being in the building. Uh, it's always was a pleasure. Uh, our talks are random stop by seeing each other. From day one, you've always had my back, supported me and, and what we did and always gave good advice. And, you know, we probably wouldn't have survived our IEPs if it wasn't for your knowledge. Definitely are a true staple to Federal High School and our faculty. You're what kept the you were the glue that kept our faculty together. You always had the knowledge to, uh, and knew whatever th was going on with everybody's families, and you kept us in the loop with each other. I know that you're going to enjoy retirement. You're going to enjoy visiting the beach and visiting family, and you absolutely deserved it. You've given uh, a large part of your life to education and to the Fairdale High School students, faculty, and community. Please keep in touch. We're gonna miss you. Definitely gonna miss your little sly comments during faculty meetings, definitely. Love you, Jules. Take care, please keep in touch. Congratulations. So, Jules, uh, you think you're retiring? Well, I guess after all the time that you put into the students and us, you probably deserve a little break. Uh, the impact you have had on the Fredo community whether it be the students or uh, those of us that have been lucky enough to get to know you through the years, uh, it's immeasurable. There's there's no way to put any kind of number to quantify it. Uh, it's 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 kind of like trying to let's just say if we were trying to count up the number of paper wads you threw during a faculty meeting. I mean, it's a number that big. There's no way we could figure out how many or how much uh, of an impact that made. Um, but as you ride off into the sunset here, Jules, I, I, I know that uh, definitely a lot more flip-flops in your life, uh, definitely a lot more beach time, uh, and if anybody deserves that more than anyone, it is definitely you. You've uh, dedicated your life to serving everyone else and making sure everyone else is happy and taken care of. Uh, I'm glad you now have time to maybe, at least a little bit of time, to possibly take care of yourself a little bit too. Uh, and so, uh, in your honor, we're going to have a little snack here. Hmm. Not really that bad. But you'll never get to me to say that I like to eat pirate booty. <laughs> what? Julie, happy, I guess, happy retirement. Happy retirement. Happy retirement, Julie. Uh, 27 years. That is that is awesome. Congratulations on your retirement. I imagine that here soon you'll be spending lots of time somewhere that's a lot warmer than Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best. I hope that you enjoy all of your time off, which I'm sure you will. One of the kindest, nicest, most genuine people I have ever met in my entire life. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You care for others the way that some people could never imagine. Uh, I'm honored to have the kindness that you have. I hope that you enjoy your retirement. I hope that it's everything that you want it to be. And I wish you nothing but the best. I'm really, really gonna miss you in the hallways and allowing us not to wear shirt and ties every day but uh congratulations on your time and julie i love you and i'm gonna miss you hope you enjoy hey julie just wanted to say congrats on retirement my favorite memory is that you were my first friend at fairdale when i moved to kentucky 20 plus years ago and i'm glad to still call you friend today enjoy i know you will and i'll see you on the lake hey julie congrats on your retirement we're gonna miss you a bunch uh you've been the heart and soul of uh, FHS for a long, long time, but I don't expect you to stay away. I know you won't be a stranger, so we will see you around, and I know you will have a great time uh, out in the sun, getting a tan and uh, enjoying yourself. So uh, we miss you and we love you, and uh, we'll see you around. Hi, Miss Julie, I hear it's your last day. I wanna say congratulations. My favorite memories of you have to be 
your Polar Pops, um, working out after school, um, all the great memories with the kids. They loved you, you love them. You have been an inspiration to uh, many, many children over the years. I wish you the best of luck. I know you'll be just sitting on a beach somewhere would be my guest during retirement. But if you get an itch to work a couple days a week, don't forget to give me a call. I wish you the best. Julie, I always love getting to collaborate with you every year. Um, you know, congratulations on a great career and enjoy your retirement. You deserve it. Hey, Julie. I don't think I could have picked anybody better to be across the hall from for my first uh, year at, well, part of the year <laughs> at Fairdale. Um, my, my favorite memory is uh, you being able to smell what I never could smell, uh, that good old pot out in, right outside our hallway. Oh, I'm going to miss you. Um, you take when care. I got a request to share a favorite memory with Julie, I thought, perfect, we have a thousand. And as I started thinking about them, I realized hmm, they're not a single one that's appropriate for a school video. And that's just one of the things that makes Julie so fabulous cards, candy, letters, notes. She showers everyone she knows and cares about with all of her love. To know Julie is to love her and to have felt her love. And all of our lives are a little bit better because Miss Julie's been in them. Girl, get those flip flops on the beach. I love you. Mwah. Hey, Julie. I cannot believe that you are going to retire and leave us. Who's going to remind us that we need to wear a red shirt? Who's going to bring candy to the PLC? I thought you would be around forever to do that, but I guess you're not because you want to sit on your front porch and watch your dogs play while you wait for Missy to come home. So uh, we want to wish you the best of luck, uh, but when they ask me next year what happened to you, I'm going to have to tell them the truth. You found a 20-year-old hottie on the internet and you're running off to film 90 Day Fiance. So you have fun and we will miss you. Hey, Jewel. I'm sitting here painting my kitchen cabinets, but I didn't want to forget to wish you a very happy and very well-deserved retirement. I miss you. I love you. I can't wait to see the new adventures you're going on. Hopefully it's snuggling lots of puppies and taking lots of walks on the beach. Love you and talk to you soon. Julie G. Julie also known as my work mom. Uh, I call you my work mom because you really have been like a mother to me at my time at Fairdale. Uh, I'll never forget uh, collaborating with you uh, when I was going through some personal crisis and you were able to help me through that during the work day. Uh, I'll never forget that. And that's because you're a compassionate person. You show your compassion uh, by having people come down and write letters and sign cards for sick employees or other employees who are going through crisis. Uh, your compassion that you show towards animals, to people, to your students. I mean, it's evident that really, you're just a great person. And we've been so lucky to have you at Fairdale as long as we've had you. Um, and I know that your greatness isn't gonna end with retirement. You're gonna go out and spread your love and your compassion all through the city of Hillview because we, me and you, we are Hillview people, which is why I think we stick so close together. Um, happy retirement. Uh, I don't think you're going to sit around too long. I think you're going to spend a lot of time uh, waterside, whether that's at the lake with Missy or at, or at some ocean with Missy. But uh, I do hope that in a couple of years, I'll see you at Hillview Walmart as a greeter because I'm going to come looking for you because I'm going to need that discount. Love you, Julie. Hey, Julie. It's your favorite hammers here. And I just wanted to say happy retirement. Congratulations. I can't believe it's real. Uh, I don't think you'll ever actually not be around. Um, I think you'll be like Lloyd and be a Fairdale forever, which I'm okay with that. Uh, I just wanted to say too, I really appreciate everything you've taught me. Uh, all the times that we've laughed our heads off together, um, had great times and you know, you've really taught me some stuff in my career that I'll never forget. And I really appreciate you for that. Um, you've got me jobs, dog sitting, and <laughs> I mean, what can I say? You're, you're the best. I'll miss you. Happy retirement, Julie. I'm so happy and excited for you. I hope you have a lot more time to spend at the beach. You are going to be part of Fairdale family forever and I'm gonna miss you so much. I, I definitely miss all of our fire alarm selfies, but you are a legend at Fairdale and you will never be forgotten. 
Have a wonderful retirement. It's so hard to say goodbye to Julie. So instead of crying, I guess we should celebrate good times. Come on, Julie. You're truly going to be missed. We're going to miss all the interruptions in the faculty miss meeting. We're going to miss your laughter. We're going to miss your fun. We're going to miss your jokes. We're going to just plain out miss you, girl. Thank you so much for taking me under your wing when I first got there in 2004. In uh, room 203, you were right across the hall from me, and those were truly some good times. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Think about us often. Come by and see us. We love you. We're going to miss you. Goodbye. Hi, Julie. I really enjoyed being part of your favorite year of teaching. I also loved all of your impromptu announcements at the faculty meetings. I wish you all the best in your retirement. You're awesome. My favorite memory of Julie was when I learned that she wasn't actually perfect. We were teaching summer school one day and I was having some problems with a kid and she came up and whispered around me my ear, you know, sometimes you just gotta tell them to shut the F up. She didn't say F, she said the whole word. Uh, realize how funny you are and how great you are. I uh, hope you really enjoy your retirement and get to spend lots of time at the lake and with your pets and your family and friends. Uh, and as much time as possible away from school, it'll be really strange not to have you there. Uh, I'll really miss uh, how much of a family you make Fair Delphiel with your cards and announcements and notes and emails and all your jokes at the faculty meeting uh, and your counting down to the end of school and for you I guess the end of the career. I uh, feel bad that you're going out this way but at least we don't have to hear you count every day off uh, in person just digitally I suppose. Uh, we'll really miss you but look forward to seeing you I'm sure lots in the future. Bye. Hey Julie I just wanted to say goodbye one more time. I still can't believe that you are retiring on us, uh, but I understand. One thing about it, you can't be replaced. Why? Because you understood what relationships are about. You understood connections. One good thing, I'm not gonna have anybody throwing anything at me when I give them a job assignment. All jokes aside, take care. Fredo for life. So I have to think of my favorite Julie memories and there are so many that it's kind of hard, um, but I'm gonna have to just say, I've, I will always remember our morning chats on the second floor on the air conditioner, um, our afternoon chats in our second floor classrooms, all the club classes we shared together um, and just all the many long nights we had in the gyms with basketball games and selling tickets and all the good stuff. Um, there's just so many, all the Brad Weston heckles you would give during the faculty meetings. There's so many memories with Julie. Um, to name one as my favorite is just too hard. Um, I think Julie will spend her retirement probably still taking care of all of her family and all of us. Um, she has such a caring heart and definitely she will be either at the lake or at the beach as much as possible. Um, Julie, I wish you the best for your retirement. Um, I know you're not going to go far away from us. Um, I look forward to seeing you around, keeping in touch, and can only say I will miss you greatly. Love you much. Bye. Hey, Julie. I have missed you more than you can imagine. I can't believe the time has finally come for you to get to retire. I know 14 years ago when I first met you, the first thing you said to me was you had 14 years left um, to retire. So the day has come. You can spend your time on the beach now, um, soaking up the rays. I'm a little jealous, but I did retire before you, I guess. Ha ha. <laughs> um, have a good one, Julie. Enjoyed all the times we got to spend together in prom and having fun and making fun of Elizabeth. And uh, enjoy your time and, uh, and, and, and hope you have a, a fabulous time relaxing on a, especially when the school year starts next year. So congratulations. You always liked him better than me anyway. So 
enjoy your time off. I know that you'll get to spend a lot of time on the beach. Um, and I would not have survived 14 years of teaching. Oh, I'm gonna do this without crying. I would not have survived without you, so I will miss you, but we will still hang out. Um, and I know Fairdale will not be the same. You gotta keep that gossip train going and um, come visit your family, okay? Love you, say bye. Out of the 12 years that I taught at Fairdell High School, I collaborated with Miss Julie for eight. So I have so many great memories of working with her. If I had to choose just one, it would probably be when we were going through the state audit and there was a lot of uncertainty. Linda Brown was the principal at the time and there were rumors that Brad Weston was up for the job. Julie, knowing people that she knows, decided to email a friend of hers and inquire about the position. However, she accidentally sent it to the entire school, 057 all. And the time she sent it, it was before first period. Most teachers were in the hallway doing hall duty. David Hicks was across from me in the computer lab. And we see her running towards us screaming, how do I get emails back? How do I get emails back? And then she hid behind David Hicks and refused to come out. It was one of the only times that I ever saw Julie frazzled. In her retirement, I think we all can agree that she'll be on a beach somewhere. Um, I see her helping at the Humane Society and not far from Fairdale, um, maybe as a sub, a clerk in the front office, um, but I don't see her going very far. Julie is one of the most generous, thoughtful people I've ever met. She puts others before herself and loves every child and teacher that walks through the doors of Fairdale High School. She is the heart of that building and I know she will be missed terribly. Julie, congratulations. I love you. I miss you so much. I think that you're amazing and I hope there's a big party somewhere happening for your retirement um, that we can all come to and celebrate you. Um, I love you so much. Congratulations on retiring, Miss Julie. Thank you so much for all your help with all the kids and thank you for always being there to help me during pep rallies. And most of all, thank you for agreeing to be my long-term sub next year. Have a great day. Mwah. We'll miss you. So Miss Julie, Miss Jessica here. I think I finally hit the stage of the grief of acceptance where I've accepted that you're going to retire and when I grow up, I hope to be just like you. So I want to thank you for welcoming me to the Fair Fairdale family. I had the best, best classroom in the hallway of mental health right across the hall from you. And I wanna congratulate you on whatever is next for you and leave you with this gift, second period style, of course. So go ahead and take a deep breath in, fill up the belly, hold it in for just a moment and slowly exhale and go ahead and squeeze your feet your calves, your legs together, belly to the spine, shoulder blades together, fists, elbows, and hold, hold, hold. Relax, release, and I'll see you on the next round. I love you. So Julie's retiring? When did this happen? Who knew, right? Julie, I can't even begin to tell you all the great memories that I have of you at Fairdale. Um, in my 10 years there, you've been a constant, uh, always with some interesting news to share or something funny to say at faculty meetings. Uh, there was that season when we did boot camp together, um, which was always fun. I think I'll always uh, think of you at the time as being part of Jenny's classrooms and uh, with those girls and keeping them in line always great fun. I hope in your retirement you find yourself a comfy chair to sit in and uh, kick up those flip-flops and rescue a whole gaggle of animals because I know they'll find you. You need some projects to work on for sure. I wish you nothing but the best and good luck. Julie, I wanted to send you a quick video and tell you how much I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss our conversations about our dogs and life in general. I'm going to miss your emails about what to wear. I don't know how I'm going to know how to dress now. And just you in general, you are uh, always a bright spot in the day whenever I get to talk to you. I hope you enjoy retirement. I hope you spend lots of time with those dogs and 
with whoever you want to spend time with because you can you're gonna be retired and uh, my both my parents say that the best night to be retired is Sunday night you ain't got to worry about Monday have fun so many Julie memories the favorite one though would be on our first weather delay day when she invited me down to her room for bagels it was very kind in her retirement, I am willing to bet that Julie will be getting her toes in as much sand as possible. Hi, Julie. Uh, what can I say? Best friends. Um, I'm so glad that we got to be best friends. And, um, you know, I think we got a lot of memories from all the uh, talks we've had to complaints to, you know, getting through life just all of the uh, things that it brings on. We've been together for a while, um, and I really do appreciate it, and I will miss you dearly every year that you're not there. Um, you know, I can't, it, it's hard to think about how I could do it without my best friend. And um, it's definitely sad, but I'm glad that you uh, can move on. You've, you've, uh, done your time and I hopefully enjoy your life and we will not uh, this will not be the last time we see each other I hope to um, at least have our one day a year um, for a long time um, so it's not goodbye but it is uh, farewell and I uh, love you and happy retirement Oh my gosh, room 132. How many phone calls and security calls do we have to do to 132? A few. Well deserved. But don't forget also, you're ending it in 132, but don't forget about those days on the second floor uh, when we were across the street neighbors and I could scare the fire out of you about four or five times a week by random popping through your door and screaming. I love that. And Julie, I love you. I'm going to miss you. I wish you the best. A uh, couple years, I might make that same drive to Frankfurt to see what the numbers look like, but, uh, you know, two more years, I don't know. But a lot of you are going to miss that wit, that love, that humor. Faculty meetings will never be the same. Nothing's going to be the same. There's no way we can fill that chair right there. We're just going to have to find something. We ought to burn that chair because nobody can ever fill that chair. You're the best. I love you. Enjoy your retirement.